Stay tuned to the end of this video to see what is inside this month's Loot Crate Gaming Unboxing. Nice out there in springtime, isn't it? Well, it's about to get nicer. Our new spring events are live. How's it going everyone? Jake XVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. It is now spring. It has turned from winter to spring as of a few hours ago, meaning we have access to a bunch of new challenges and championships and vehicles. This week we have access to a new exclusive rare vehicle which has been waiting for for a long, long time and it is the Hot Wheels Mustang. For the next seven days, you are going to be able to unlock this Hot Wheels Mustang pretty much for free if you complete this championship on a certain difficulty. So what we're going to do in today's video, I'm going to show you the best car I recommend to use for this championship, give you a tune, a quick tips and tricks on each of the three races, and then you'll have a look at how the Hot Wheels Mustang can perform fully upgraded. It is such a beast. Hot Wheels Mustang was one of my favourite cars on Forza Horizon 3 entirely and now it's on Horizon 4. So today we're going to learn how to get it and why you should get it. For the next week there will be a championship called Up the Garden Path down at the left hand side of the map. This championship is all based around super hot hatches and you have to complete three races and win the championship on expert difficulty and you win the Ford Mustang for free, the Hot Wheels one. You'll get three races, one of them is a dirt race which is a lapped one and the other two are sprint races which is a mixture of sprint and road. The car I recommend you use is the Ford Focus RS, the 2017 one, the one that you can get for free right at the beginning of the game and you're allowed up to A class 800, so I recommend doing a little bit of tuning on it, but I've already done that for you. If you add my gamer tag, which is JKXVXYT in the top left hand corner, you can see, and then you go to load tune for the Focus RS, you should see a A class tune that has about four to 500 horsepower. It's quite light, it's all wheel drive, and this car will be an absolute beast on these three races, and you'll easily be able to win on expert difficulty and then you'll unlock the Hot Wheels Mustang straight away. Make sure to make sure you set your difficulty to expert and then get cracking with the three races. I'm going to give you a quick 20-30 second tips on each one of the races now and you'll be able to easily smash through it and get the Hot Wheels Mustang. Now the first race I did was the lapped one at the festival. It's a three lap dirt race around the festival. Here's some quick tips. Just like my last exclusive car video, you don't need to brake much on this specific three laps race, especially in this car with this tune, you can just go around the corners and slide around them flat out. So my tip for this race, don't use your brakes much, just let off the throttle, slide around the corners as fast as possible, cut the corners if you can, you can with quite a few of these, and you'll easily go into first place. I won this on Expert by miles, nearly a 10 to 15 second lead I had, which is pretty good for Expert you'll have no troubles at all beating this on Expert, that's for sure. The second race is a sprint run. Now this one's quite a long race, like a four to five minute race, which is quite a long one. Half of it's road, half of it's off road, and the same for this, just take it, just take it nice and quick. Don't panic if you do not get to first place on the road. Once you get to off road, you do have an advantage because this car can slide around the corner as well, it handles well, and it grips well off road. So for the, for the time being, while you're on the road at the beginning of the race, don't worry, as soon as you're off-road later on into the race, into the sprint race, you'll easily overtake them and take that first spot. Just take the corners nice and fast, don't use your brakes unless you have to. There's quite a lot of braking lines on this that actually tell you to brake, but ignore them. I don't know why there's so many, because you don't need to brake on half of the corners. But there's another tip for that race. And the third one is also a long one, which again starts on the road and the second half is off the road. If you don't get into first place for the first half on the road, don't worry. For the second half, it's so easy to catch up in this focus. So just take it steady for the on-road bit and the off-road bit in the second half, you'll easily smash first place. And again, take the corners, don't use the brakes so much and you'll be fine. Then, after that's all done, you completed the championship. I've gone through it very quickly. It's honestly not that hard to do. I watched it, I did the race while watching Netflix. It was that easy. 
If you're using the right tune and the right tips, expert difficulty really isn't that hard sometimes. And you will then unlock the Hot Wheels Mustang for free. We're going to have a look at the upgrades now and see what we can do to this beast. Now, as I said, I'm going to tell you this now. Do this while you can, especially for the Hot Wheels Mustang. This is one of the best sounding cars in the game, in my opinion. I think they've changed the sound, to be honest, compared to Horizon 3. It doesn't sound as good as it used to, but it still sounds good. But this car will only be available for this week. And like the Hot Wheels Mustang, this is a type of car which will not be available in the Forzathon shop after, after this week. So please do this while you can. Get it for free, even if you're not going to use it. Or if you want to sell it later on for some money, just do it. It's what is well worth it. As for upgrades, you can have a couple of engine swaps, but I don't see why you'd engine swap this thing. It sounds good enough and it's fast enough. And fully upgraded with the engine, drivetrain and everything like that, it will push just under a 1,000 horsepower. I wouldn't recommend making it all-wheel drive either because just keeping it rear-wheel drive, it, it grips pretty well, probably because it's got slicks already. But it's an all-round brilliant car to use and I highly recommend you go for it. I'm going to leave some gameplay of the Hot Wheels Mustang for the next minute or two and then we're going to take a look at the Loot Crate gaming unboxing at the end of this video. If you are interested in looking into Loot Crate yourself, you can go to www.lootcrate.com slash jkxvx and then you can get a discount if you use the code jkxvx as well. But if you wait a bit, you'll actually see what we got in this month's crate. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content and I'll see you all in the next video. Okay guys, it is time to open this month's Loot Gaming Crate. If you don't know what Loot Crate is, it is essentially a subscription service where you pay a little amount of money every month and you get sent a box of your choice in the mail every month which contains a random assortment of gaming goodies, you know, whatever, you, whatever kind of crate you buy. This is the Loot Gaming Crate and we are going to be opening up January's box, which is this one right here, and seeing what's inside. Now if any of this interests you, you can go to Loot Crate's website using the link in the description, www.lootcrate.com slash jakexvx, and then use code jakexvx to get 10% off discount on your crates. Now I do already know what's inside because I've already opened it once, but the video recording software crashed, so I've got to do it again. So let's have a gander, shall we? Um, oh, it comes up this way. Here we go, and boom! The crates are actually a lot better than I thought they would be. You know, if you were to go online and buy these things individually, it would still be way more than the crate itself. So anyway, the first thing we have is the biggest thing in here is a throw, or people would call it a blanket. And if you can see, it is Gears of War. So that's pretty cool. That's a big blankety item. And then I believe in nearly every crate you get a free shirt as well, which is this one. Well, it's not free. You know what I mean. This month's being a Halo shirt, I believe. Yep, Halo Legendary Crate shirt. Just move the camera a little bit. The next thing, we've actually got another kind of clothing item. It is a little bag. Um, I don't know how you pronounce that. Galaga? Galaga? I don't know. But it's a little bag. It's nice, nice quality as well. It's not rubbish. And then you get all sorts of little bits and goodies as well. We've got a another Galaga pin. I don't know how you pronounce that. But it's a metallic pin, so that's pretty nice. We'll pop that there in view. And then what else we have? We have a poster which also displays all the contents of the box as well. If we open that up, a big Mass Effect poster, as you can see, which I'm sure is probably going to go on this wall somewhere. And then on the back, you can see all of the contents of the box. And also, it's worth mentioning, in one of the boxes that they send out, they actually include some very big stuff like this. For example, the Loot Gaming Crate, 
you can actually get sent an Xbox One X and Gears of War 4. But only one lucky person gets another Mass Effect item. This time it's a Mass Effect calendar, which is again pretty useful. I'm going to put this in the room somewhere. And then all the two bits and goodies. We have information about one of the crates, a little leaflet. And then a $60 gift card for HelloFresh. If anyone wants to use that, then go ahead. It works in the US only by the looks of it. But yeah, $60 gift card, a calendar, a poster, a shirt, a throw, a bag, some leaflets, a pin. Overall, some pretty decent, nice stuff. As I said, every single month you have no idea what you're getting in the box. When I opened this not too long ago, I had no idea what was going to be on there. It's quite a nice surprise to have any month, and it's not too expensive either. And the items in there are usually worth a lot more than the crate itself. Again, if you are interested in having a look at any of the crates, and not just loot gaming crates, there's plenty of other crates, go to this link here. It's in the description, and you can get 10% off if you use the discount code JakeXVX as well. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, everyone. I'll see you all later.